hi hi everyone today i will help you that how to calculate ending inventory and cost of goods sold by using w a f i f o that is fifo and l i f o lifo under the periodic inventory system method so before we start to calculate it we have to take a questions okay so let's take it okay this is uh, our questions we will calculate in the inventory and cost of goods sold by using all the three methods that is wa fifo and lifo method under the periodic inventory system on the basis of these questions okay in these questions there are two table one and two all right uh, in the first table we have uh, 1500 units available for sale and in the second table we have uh, sold 500 units okay that means the first table uh, represents inventory inflows right and the second table represents inventory outflows okay and this row represents we will have keep kept 1000 uh, units as uh, inventory on hand okay now let's start to calculate the inventory i mean to say ending inventory and cost of goods sold one by one by using each method okay all right okay this area okay this area represents our questions which i have copied from sheet 3 to sheet 4 to easily see the questions and calculate it okay now let's calculate the ending inventory and cost of goods sold by using wa method that is weighted average method here okay before we calculate the ending inventory and cost of goods sold we have to calculate WAR that is weighted average rate okay so click here and write the formula press the equal to sign and click the click here and press the divide button from the keyboard okay and again click here okay and press the enter key all right so 12.67 is our what is average rate now this rate uh, we will use to calculate the cost of goods sold and ending inventory okay so click here press the equal to sign and uh, uh, click here and uh, press the F4 keys to absolute it okay and press the multiply sign okay and click the here okay and press the equal to sign I mean to say press the enter key all right so 6333.33 that is uh, uh, 6333 uh, is our cost of goods sold uh, this is in this figure uh, in amount okay and now it's time to calculate the ending inventory so press the same same uh, techniques press the equal to sign and uh, click here and press the F4 keys to absolute it and again press the multiply sign and click here to represent the inventory on hand okay all right and press the enter key okay the 12,666.67 is our Indian inventory and uh, this figure is also represented in terms of rupees or any currency format all right okay I have done uh, and 
and uh, we have calculated both cost of goods sold and Indian inventory by using this method WA method that is wages average method now let's uh, calculate same thing that is cost of goods sold and Indian inventory by using another method that is FIFO method okay and uh, in this method I mean uh, from FIFO method that is first in first out and this arrow represents that start with beginning inventory okay and this table I have already prepared it uh, to calculate cost of goods sold okay um, It is uh, so uh, which is uh, very easy. You can uh, also prepare it easily. Uh, it is, I have just prepared for time saving. Okay, now let's put the. I mean, let's fill up the uh, table. Okay, so you can write directly uh, this date, or you can um, link this cell with this cell so let's uh, I want to link these cells so press the equal to sign and press uh, click here okay and press the enter key all right and same thing press the equal to sign and link this one press the enter key okay but here I want to write write uh, the amount or rate and quantity okay because uh, it could be a uh, mm, different by changing this uh, cell okay so right here quantity how much 100 and read 10 and uh, let's uh, write the formula here to calculate the amount so press the equal to sign and click here and press the multiply sign and press the click here and press the enter okay and click here and drag down from here to here okay okay and uh, remember one thing uh, I want to tell you uh, the cost of goods sold should not be exceed from 500 units because uh, because we have sold only 500 units okay here you can see this table second table cost of goods sold 500 okay so let's continue it uh, I <coughs> I have received one uh, 100 units I have to uh, receive a uh, further 400 units to match five to match cost of goods sold 500 okay and same press the equal to sign and link this one and press the enter key and press the equal to sign and link this one press the enter key okay and how much 200 okay and how much 11 is okay so this one I have received 300 units now let's again click here and press the enter key press here and click here press the enter key now here uh, in the third data purchase uh, there is uh, 300 units okay but uh, we have we have uh, but we want uh, to 200 uh, units only because um, I have already told you the reason of this because uh, the cost of uh, goods sold should not be exceeded from 500 units here okay so we will uh, take uh, 200 units only from 300 units 
okay so write that 200 okay and then but it uh, will be same 12 okay and press enter key. okay okay now uh, write the formula here to sum this column press the equal to sign and write the sum function and open parenthesis and click here and drag from here to here and press the and uh, press the uh, close parenthesis and press the enter key okay and uh, press the control plus c to copy it and click here and uh, press control plus b to calculate the total amount of this column okay okay Now it's time to calculate the ending inventory. Actually, ending inventory can be calculated by using the formula, which is that ending inventory equals to cost of goods available for sale minus cost of goods sold. Okay, you can ask me why this formula has not used uh, in WA method. So I can say you this method is very different from below the two me uh, method that is FIFO and LIFO method because WA method wants to WAR but the FIFO and LIFO does not want to uh, WAR W A uh, W A method wants to W A R to calculate uh, to calculate the uh, C O G S that is cost of goods sold and in the inventory. Okay, so don't be confused. Now let's uh, follow the formula of in the inventory, which uh, which is I have already told you before. Okay, uh, so click here. I've already written here click here and uh, press the equal to sign and uh, click here okay and press the enter key similarly click here and press the equal to sign and click here press the enter key and now uh, how much the cost of goods sold so i have already calculated it so this one 500 so press the equal to sign and click here press the enter key and uh, uh, similarly press the equal to sign and click here press the enter okay now let's follow the formula to calculate the ending inventory okay so press the equal to sign and uh, uh, click here press the subtract sign uh, from your keyboard okay and click here press the enter key okay and uh, similarly okay you can uh, click here and drag from left to right Thirty, thirteen thousand four hundred. Our inventory in amount, but uh, I have uh, uh, one thousand in units. And uh, remember one thing also: the ending inventory in units should uh, should be matched with inventory on hand, because inventory on hand and ending inventory same thing okay so don't be confused okay now I have done now let's uh, calculate same thing that's cost of goods sold and in ending inventory from LIFO method LIFO method means uh, last in first out and this arrow I mean to say this up arrow represents that start with latest purchased inventory okay after we know about it the next step uh, is just similar to FIFO method okay only the inventory keeping records is different so let's fill up this table okay so press the equal to sign and click the 
click this there okay and press the enter key similarly click here and press the equal to sign and with the click here okay but how much quantity 500 okay so 500 all right rate rate is how much 14 and the amount is same formula press the equal to sign click here press the multiply sign and click here press the enter key okay now here i have uh, received 500 uh, units directly from one transaction that is uh, in uh, one transaction okay so do, so no uh, okay so we know uh, we do not um, need to take any other inventory record okay so press the and uh, let's sum this column so press the equal to sign and write the sum function and press the open parenthesis and drag from here to here and press the close parenthesis press the enter key and similarly click here press the control plus c and uh, and click here and press the control plus p to copy it. okay i have okay we have also completed this table okay let's and calculate cost of goods so okay uh, it's now it's time to calculate the ending element to the same techniques from lifo method from here okay so let's fill let's calculate it so cost of goods sold i mean to cost of goods available for sale how much in units press the equal to sign and go to here click here press the enter key similarly click here press the equal to sign and go to here click and click here press the enter key and uh, how much cost of goods sold we have already calculated it so press the equal to sign and click here press the enter key and again click here press the equal to sign and click here press the enter key okay now let's the for uh, uh, let's follow the formula of ending inventory same press the equal to sign and click here press the subtract sign and click here press the enter key and again press the equal to sign and click here press the subtract sign and click here and press the enter key okay okay we have also done this and uh, also done by this method okay and uh, this table uh, is our summary table to to see uh, easily and understand about the inventory i mean in doing inventory and cost of goods all okay you can see the fifo method according to fifo method wa method and lifo method uh, there are cost of goods sold is different in each uh, method and in the inventory it's also different in each method okay so this is just for uh, understand about the inventory and cost of goods sold okay so that's all for now this is very easy easily uh, this is very easy to calculate it thanks for watching the video if you like this video please subscribe my channel and please hit the like button and if you don't like this video please hit the dislike button also you have any query please write the query in the comment box below thank you bye bye